Keith, we're here on your stand at the Herco Open House. I mean, I've known your brand for many years, Kuefa. Popular and, and quite a few different elements to it as well. Can you just give us a quick synopsis of some of the products that you supply before we hone in on one yes, of the we're, one we're feature on? Uh, we're, we're here today uh, to represent Gavefa, obviously our company, but uh, we also look after the interests of Ot Jakob, Nan, uh, Rynek and EWS under the banner of Gavefa. There's a lot to your portfolio. Let's just start on the left before we come on to what really is here the feature. Uh, what we have, Paul, we have uh, hydraulic chucks with uh, HSK back ends, BT, DIN, all of the common back ends that you would expect. But together with that, under the uh, Gavefa banner, we're also heavily involved in preventative main maintenance, uh, check in, and monitoring of spindles. Associated with that, we also have the Ot Jakob preventative maintenance power checks, which can be uh, just for installation, periodic monitoring, or sort of preventative maintenance where the power check will remain in the carousel and called up periodically, kinetically awakes and then feeds uh, information to the machine, e either via radio waves or hardwired uh, into the system, whether it could be Siemens, Fanuc, or a Herco developed software. Uh, so that's going to what? Give me an indication of what's happening in the machine. I'm going to monitor how my spindle's performing, so I can get the best life out of it. Yes, yeah, totally. The it will if the uh, the pullback pressure is too low, then that will will result in sort of resonance, vibration, uh, which will affect the surface finish of the bore uh, and lead to scrap. So it, with perpetual monitoring it will give the end user the indication of there's any degeneration in the pullback mechanism within the spindle so that's a, a good addition yeah good addition as well okay now this is really fascinating this is I, I was on the shop floor many years ago fortunately or unfortunately uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, very used to turning centers VDI tools BMT tools Tell us what we've got here that's new from EWS because it's quite innovative. Yes, the EWS brand is world renowned. They're very proactive in developing new systems uh, to answer the needs of the market. And again, together with preventative maintenance. If we look at the tool here with the, uh, the blue box, we're calling this Cybercon 4. That has got built-in software that will monitor any possible leakage within the driven tool so if it was running above the recommended RPM, then it would record that. But also, if there's any degeneration in the actual unit, it would give prior notice to the end user to pull it out, to have it refurb, checked or whatever. But also for the manufacturer, EWS, to monitor whether the tool has been uh, abused. But that, that's not the optimum reason for it, it is for preventative maintenance. Because there's, there's a few elements to that. Firstly, it would affect the finished result of the machine part, wouldn't it, if, yes. you're, if your tool wasn't operating in it in its 100% efficient format. Um, and then secondly, it would mean that this you, you, you're you going to be able to change this before there's any damage. Uh, yes, uh, obviously with regards to uh, the quality of component, but then integral damage through leakage via the seals of the bearings, etc., which could effectively scrap the tool. Now that's one part to this, there's a second part that I really like as well is you've got the body of the, the VDI unit but you, it, the, the actual tool is interchangeable isn't it? Uh, exactly, what, what we have, we have the unit that remains on the turret but with the modular uh, system, the Varia VX that we have, you can have sister tooling uh, ready and available uh, through uh, drillware or cutterware so it's interchangeable, it's preset so there is a reduction in change over time uh, and you know, being more productive. When you start introducing more connections into a into a tool, do you uh, in, in inherently affect the stability of it? The fact you're having, you know, different connectors or, or yeah, the, the tool going into uh, the body. The Varia VX system is a very sturdy, proven, rigid connection. We have a, a drive at the rear that uh, ensures this, but also an ejector system where it's controlled by a torque key for tightening, so it's not over tightening but by anti-clockwise, quick ejection, and it's, it's as rigid as, a, as an integral tool. Uh, and how quick to change? 20 seconds. Uh, actually less, but uh, you know we, we just want to keep it uh, on a reasonable time. Fascinating product. I just want to summarise this. Two quick points, or three quick points, as to why this is a benefit. The end user will only have to buy one unit, and then he can interchange between a, a modular shrink 
adapter, hydraulic, uh, a, a face mill adapter and such like, call it chuck. So it's a very flexible system, very rigid and most importantly the repeatable accuracy is uh, optimum, it's, it's really good. Thank you Keith. Thank you Paul.